Okay, here we are. About ready to uh, do the kingpin bushings on my 84 TRX 200 Honda. As you can see, the, uh, the bushings are uh, absolutely toast. So what I've done so far is remove the wheel, obviously, and uh, I unbolted the uh, front suspension to uh, let the axle hang down. I cut a piece of wood. Just lift that up and set that down on there so you got something solid to hold the axle up. And uh, I think what I'm going to do is try to uh, drive it out with the air chisel. If that doesn't work, I'll have to, uh, I guess I'll have to put some heat to it and uh, air chisel it. If I'm going to put the heat to it, i got to worry about this brake line here melting. But uh, now we'll give it a try without the heat first. in there. Of course it's been in there for what 30, 34, 35 years. Yeah. I think I'm gonna have to put the heat to her. I think that's my only option. And if that doesn't work, I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do. Alright, I've been heating her for a bit. Just got one of these little propane torches. I don't know if I got it hot enough. I'm gonna give her a try. That's how it's done, fellas. Right on. That's a load off my mind. I just gotta do the next one. Freaking cool. Alright, now that things have cooled down a little bit. I already, already popped the bottom one out. Just gotta get your chisel here, your air chisel in there and pop it up. These things go in from the inside, so you gotta blast them out from the outside. I believe that's it. She's out. I just gotta grab my new ones, which I got from uh, Babbitt's Online. Uh, direct Honda parts so they should fit and uh, put the dust seals in, grease that kingpin and put her all back together. It's actually a pretty easy job to breathe some new life into this old girl that goes down the field all sloppy like that. All right. <clears throat> Time to get the top one in. So if you have a means of getting that clean in there, take a Dremel, take a Dremel, and run it down, up and down that bore until it's nice and shiny. Then give her a squirt with some. Uh, some good old-fashioned crown. Now these won't just slide in there, you're gonna have to press them in. So just kind of get them started, get them as square as possible. And then uh, you have a seat clamp, and start pressing it in. And if you have to, you can uh, put some bunch of tension on it with the, with the C clamp and then 
kind of drive it in a little bit with the air chisels. Kind of what I had to do the last one here because she just, she's tight. Oh. Just take your air chisel. Oh, you lose your chisel. That helped. A couple more turns. Oh, crap. What a mess. Get your chisel back together. Maybe right through there, that's hurting the bore. All right. Maybe that's about as far as I can go that way. See clamp on her nice and square. And then come in with the chisel again. Until you get driver right home. There she is. Well, it looks like she's done there. Alright. Okay, now, oops, try not to bend your tight rod. Now, I also ordered some uh, some seals, dust seals for these, these guys here. And they just, I uh, already got one here. They just kind of go around the top of the bushings just to keep the crud out. There was nothing left of the old ones. They were not even there. Just stick them in there. Stick them on around there. Um, what the heck did I do with my king pen retainer bolt? So, I did forget to mention, <laughs> very important part is to take this, this bolt out here. It's in the axle. And what it does is it locks your king pin in like that. So, I kind of forgot to mention that I had already taken that out before I turned the video on. So then, it's kind of, Work this thing over top without wrecking your dust seals. All right. I don't really think it matters which way this goes in, but I guess we will soon find out if it matters. If nothing lines up. Maybe I should have ran the Dremel down through that bore too. Try to get this off again here. Hopefully that's, ooh, that's pretty small. I don't know my Dremel go down through there. <laughs> no go. I wonder if I got a smaller one. All right, well, anyways, I'm not gonna bore you guys with the, with okay, all that. So I got it all done. Yeah, I forgot to record some of the last parts, but anyways, I, uh, you can see the new, uh, brand new bushings in there. Everything's nice and tight now. There's still a little bit of slop in the bottom because the kingpin was worn out at the top. I decided to put the tight side at the top, so, because that's where the steering arm is, and the less moving up where the steering arm is, the less it's gonna affect your steering, so. So I just gotta hook my shock back up. Oh, and uh, that's that, uh, that's that bolt you gotta, you gotta take that nut off, and you gotta drive that pin to through to the back side, and that will unlock your king pin. So that's all done, I'm happy with that. That was really easy, but uh, you know, if you don't, if you don't have a torch it might be a real pain in the arse but uh, I got that side done got to do the other side I got a bunch of other parts I uh, I got in the mail 
Uh, put those together, do the carburetor, and the hell else did I get? Oh, the clutch. I got to do the, the the clutch friction plates and steels. So and that'll be another video. So uh, there you go. That's how to uh, do the king pins on a 1984 TRX 200. I just wish I would have remembered to uh, show you that bolt right at the beginning. I kind of feel like a knob now, but oh well. Now you just know.